Don't try and force things. How could you add power to omnipotent? So when you find yourself stressing or straining or worrying, quiet your mind. Write out your goal with your opposite hand. Focus. You want to move away from that energy into where you bring order to the conscious mind. You calm yourself down. You quiet the mind. You make peace with your body so that the subconscious mind can reveal to you the next step. This is moving from the effort way to the effortless way of creating the results that you want. You can't make the seed grow. You plant it in the ground and it will grow. The oak is in the acorn, the apple is in the apple seed. The archetype or pattern is there. The image of your C type goal. But you must deposit it in the soil where it dies, undergoes disillusion to squeeze its energy into another form of itself. Isn't that just beautiful? And we can all see that image, you know, of planting a seed or when you sprout a seed and then you sort of watch the seed shell break away and the plant begin to grow and it sprouts that seed. The spiritual minded individual, let's say, looks to an acorn and sees a forest. Look to your goal card and see the picture. It is done. It does exist. The archetype, the DNA is there. And that's the way your subconscious works. It magnifies your good exceedingly. So avoid strain since this attitude is indicative of your own belief. If you're worried and fearful and anxious, well, that inhibits your good. That brings blocks and delays and impediments in your life. That which I greatly fear has come upon me. So flip that. I love this as a reverse to that. That which I greatly love comes into my experience. You might want to put that on a post-it note, put that around your office, put that behind the toilet door, the fridge to remind you that when you feel fear, doubt and worry, change it. That which I love greatly comes into my experience. That which I love greatly comes into my experience. Love is an emotional attachment. We are emotionally involved with the good that we desire. Your subconscious has all the wisdom and power necessary to solve your problems. Your conscious mind is prone to look at external conditions and tends continually to struggle and resist. How can it be done? Where will the resources come from? Look at the conditions and circumstances. You don't know anyone. You don't have the money. You don't have the resources. The da 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 da. Your conscious mind is very across the problems and the challenges and the lack and the limitation, right? It looks to the external circumstances through sight, sound, smell, taste and touch, sensory faculties. But remember, you have your mental faculties. You control the flow of thought energy by how you use your conscious mind. Take back control from that paradigm. Do not permit your old paradigm to have you looking at those conditions and circumstances. Reverse it. That which I love greatly comes into my experience. What am I going to focus on? The image of the good that I desire, the thoughts that match that, the feelings that match that, the actions that match that, the beliefs that I'm creating as part of my self image. They're all here. As you find beliefs that we talk about in these readings, you know, highlight them, reflect on them, add them into lines in your self image script, put them there that they can become part of your identity, part of your deep belief system at a subconscious level. We know from lesson eight of TIR, what we believe deeply in our subconscious mind comes to pass. Quiet your body periodically. Tell it to be still and relax. Body relax. The body will obey you. Your body acts as acted upon. Your body has no self-conscious intelligence, no volition, no will. It moves as moved upon. I love this line. You can play a melody of God on your body. You can play a melody of the universe on your body. Your conscious mind, when your conscious mind is quiet and receptive, the wisdom of your subconscious rises to the surface mind and you receive your solution. 